Hey, it's Ron from Spark Chasers here. You know, we live in a completely connected world. iPad, phones, but many times our older aircraft are just completely unconnected. If you buy a newer aircraft, you'll likely have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity with your avionics, but most of the GA fleet is still unconnected. There is a simple solution in the Garmin Flightstream series wireless gateways, but it's often overlooked by customers. Whether you're on the ground or in the air, the Flightstream 510 can do a lot for a pilot, but it's one of the more overlooked options by customers with GTN series navigators. It's a basic Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enablement card that can really lighten the load for pilots, and it's easy to use. So let's go check it out. Once your aircraft powers up, your iPad or tablet is going to connect Bluetooth to the Flightstream 510 as shown here. And once it connects, Garmin Pilot will then check the databases in the GTN to see if they're current. And if they're not current, it's going to ask you to load the latest ones. Now, once you've gotten in and confirmed a flight plan, it's pretty simple. You're connected and you've got this little button right up here. Looks like a Wi-Fi button. You're going to use that button to send to the GTN. Send this flight plan. So we're going from JNX to Mike 70, Pocahontas, Arkansas. You hit that button right there, it's going to ask us do we want to send to the panel or load from the panel, and do we want to auto-receive from the panel. So you'll see what happens with that here in a second. So I'm going to send to the panel, come over, and we're instantly getting a blinking message from on the GTN. We click it, it comes up and says we have a new flight plan import. We click that right there, and you can see the flight plan, and we can then hit the activate button. So we activate it, and now we are going from from JNX Johnson Regional to Mike 70. Now let's just say ATC so graciously says, you know what, you don't need to take this crazy route right here. You can go direct to Mike 70. So if you come up here and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, highlight Mike 70, you can go direct and activate. So now we are direct from my location, KJNX, to Mike 70 and on my iPad it's asking me do I want to load the information from the panel automatically? Remember that switch was flipped in, uh, when, when we did that. So let's just say we're going to ignore that. We can go back to, now we're flying along and we realize we have two different flight plans. Um, one in the GTN, one in my, uh, in my four flight app. So I'm going to go back to my wireless button, hit it, and I'm going to load them from the panel. I'm going to bring it in, and now we have the new route in there. Really easy to use and helpful for pilots to lighten the load in flight. So if you want to modernize your cockpit with, with connectivity for things like two-way flight plan transfer, or if you just want traffic, weather, attitude, and GPS information streamed to your iPad or tablet, the Flightstream series wireless gateways are definitely an option to consider. If you have a GDL69 data link receiver for XM weather and XM radio, you can just pass that connected iPad to your passengers and let them control the XM radio station that you're listening to and the volume controls for the music. I don't know about you, but that feels like a connected aircraft, but for some reason, many customers overlook the value of this option. I've got a flight stream in my flight, Cessna uh, 210, and we use it all the time. We use it constantly during flight, and it's a lifesaver for, for me with the databases because I always used to forget about the databases, but now the database concierge does all that work for me. If you desire connectivity, this is definitely one of the options I'd consider. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like or a thumbs up, and as always, fly safe.